everyone and welcome here. My name is Heather aka Hey Hey Crochet and in today's tutorial I am going to show you how to make something that I am so in love with and it is this shrug or bolero or sleeves or whatever you like to call them. I am so in love with these that I made four of them in the span of one week. It is a very simple make. It is a top-down raglan style top and it is made out of the granny stitch. And just a heads up throughout this tutorial, I'm going to interchangeably refer to it as the granny stitch or a double crochet cluster. They're the same. I don't know why I use both, but it works. <laughs> like I already mentioned, this is a top-down raglan style top. It can simply be made into any size. You just have to work as many rows as you need for the corners to reach and attach under your armpits. And then the sleeves are work. And I made the neck hole where I feel like it can be a very universal fit. I made it pretty wide so it can fit over most heads. It's so fun, so easy, and most any yarn can be used for this pattern. I mean, I used this really bulky weight, but I altered my pattern a little. But for all of these, they were similar to a weight four yarn. This one is technically a weight five, but this is a very light, in my opinion, weight five yarn that it passed just fine for a weight four for me and worked for the pattern. And this one is classified as a weight four, but it's a roving type of yarn. So the thickness of the yarn varied throughout most of the skein. I feel like it was a weight two or weight three, but it worked just fine for this pattern as well. And I still used a six millimeter hook on all of these. Fun fact, these both, both of these yarns are classified as a weight five, but this one could not be used with a six millimeter hook. I used an eight millimeter hook and this one worked just fine for six millimeter. So you can really play around with all of these yarns because that's what I was doing. Very fun, lots of different textures as you can see. And I will have all of the yarns that I used for all of these shrugs linked in the description below. So if you're wanting to make one similar, you can check it out there. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. All right, what yarn I will be using for today's tutorial is this Arcane Fiberworks yarn in the colorway Beautiful Endings. This yarn is a 100% merino worsted weight yarn and it is very lovely and soft. I already wound one of those hanks up into a yarn ball. We are going to start by working 72 chains. Now these 72 chains should be fairly universal for every size because I made it quite wide so it will fit over multiple people's heads. I will put my gauge in the granny square stitch up on the screen. We are going to chain 72. After we have our 72 chains, we are going to slip stitch into the first chain we made. And now we will work our first granny stitch slash double crochet cluster. So we're going to chain two and then work a double crochet into that same chain that we slip stitched into. And then we're going to work one more. So the makeup of a granny stitch or a double crochet cluster is three double crochet. This chain two at the beginning counts as one double crochet. So we have one cluster right here. And actually in the beginning, we're gonna work our first double crochet cluster corner. So chain two and work three more double crochet into that same chain. Thank you. 
And now to move on to our next cluster, we're going to chain one, skip two chains, and then work a double crochet cluster into that next chain. And we're going to repeat this double crochet cluster three more times. So chain one, skip two chains, and double crochet oops, into the next chain. Now we'll repeat again. And one more time. And after you have four double crochet clusters, we are going to work our next corner. So chain one, skip two chains, and then work a double crochet cluster into the next stitch. and then chain two, and then work three more double crochet clusters into that same chain. Now what we're going to, across the next couple of stitches, we're going to work six double crochet clusters. So right here, from corner to corner, in the middle of the two corners, we worked four. Now, we're going to work six. So just repeat the double crochet cluster six times. So this is one. And just repeat that five more times. I have my six clusters and now I'm going to work another corner. So skip two, work into the next chain. And just work the corner, which is three double crochet, chain two, and then three more double crochet into that same chain. Now, like we did with this side over here, we're going to work four double crochet clusters. So we're just gonna mirror that over here. So just work four double crochet clusters into the next few chains. Okay, I worked my four double crochet clusters and now we're going to work our last corner. So just work the corner as you have been doing. And then like the top part over here with the six double crochet clusters, just mirror that down here. So work six double crochet clusters, and then we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch slash first double crochet of the round. 
After our last double crochet cluster, I'm going to chain one and then slip stitch into the top chain of the first stitch slashed chain two of the round. And that's it for round one. This doesn't look very big, but it is very, very stretchy. For round two, we are just simply going to work one double crochet cluster into each and every chain space from the previous round. And in every corner, we're going to work another double crochet cluster corner. So it's just one double crochet cluster, chain two, and then another double crochet cluster into that same chain space. So chain one, work a double crochet cluster into the next chain space. Chain one, work a double crochet cluster into the next chain space. and just repeat that until you come to the corner. So I've made it to my first corner. So I'm going to work double crochet cluster. Chain two. And then another cluster into that same chain space. Yeah, just repeat that. One double crochet cluster into every chain space except for the corners. Going to work a double crochet cluster, chain two, and then another double crochet cluster. All right, I just finished round two. And now I'm just going to slip stitch into the first stitch slash top chain of the chain two. And for round three, you're just going to repeat round two. So just work one double crochet cluster into each chain space and in the corners, work a double crochet cluster, chain two, and a double crochet cluster into the same chain space. And I'm just going to repeat round two. So you will want to work as many rounds as you need for your size. So you will keep repeating this same increase round until you can put this on and these corners reach comfortably under your armpits. For me, this is six rounds before I connect it. So six rounds is perfect for me and I typically wear an extra small to a small. So, but that's going to be different for every body type. So just work as many as you might need. Okay, so after you have as many rows as you need for the corners to reach under and comfortably connect under your armpits. We are going to connect the corners together now. So the longer sides are gonna be the front and back of the sweater and these shorter sides are going to be the shoulder arm parts. So when we fold it over and connect these with the next round, these shorter sides are the arms and these longer sides is the front and back panel. So to connect these, we're just going to start working our double crochet clusters as normal until we come to our first corner. And when we come to our first corner, we're going to work two double crochets into the corner and then we're going to work half of a double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over 
insert our hook, pick up a loop, yarn over, go through two. And then we're going to grab our other corner and then yarn over, insert our hook into that other corner, pick up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through all three to connect. And then work two more double crochets. And that's how we will connect the two corners together. I'll show you one more time. So work two double crochets into that corner, then work half of a double crochet, pick up the other corner, yarn over, insert your hook, pick up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through all three. And then work two more double crochets into that same chain space and they are connected. So just continue working one double crochet cluster into each chain space until you come to the next corner. All right, I've come to my next corner and again, I'm just going to repeat what I was doing. So you work two double crochets into the corner chain space. Yarn over, insert your hook, pick up a loop, yarn over, go through two. And then yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain space, yarn over, pick up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through all three. And then work two more double crochets to that same chain space. And then they will be connected. And then just finish this off by working one double crochet cluster into each chain space until the end of the round. All right, choosing either one of the sleeves, it doesn't matter to start with. And it also doesn't matter where you start on the sleeve. Just going to pick a random spot. I'm gonna make a slip knot. And I'm just going to insert my hook in any one of these chain spaces. And then I'm going to chain two and just work a normal double crochet cluster. And now you just work one double crochet cluster into each chain space until the end of the round, just like you have been doing. I like to work a total of 32 rounds but depending on some of them that I have made with like bulkier weight yarn I have only worked 30 rounds in one I think I only worked 26 because the yarn was just so much more bulky but for typically for the normal worsted weight yarn I work a total of 32 rounds and when you come to the part where you connected your sleeve, this just counts, this connection right here just counts as one uh, double crochet cluster. So we're just going to work into this chain space right here. So completely skip over these two and work a normal double crochet cluster. So yeah, just work it normally around until the end of the round and just slip stitch into the first stitch. So yeah, you can work as many as you want. You can work more or less, but I'm going to continue doing this until I have a total of 32 rounds. Okay, I finished my 32 rows for this sleeve. And for the next sleeve, you're going to repeat the exact same thing. Just connect your yarn wherever you want it. And 
and just work double crochet clusters in every chain space until you have 32 rows or more or less whatever length you want for your sleeves 32 rows was perfect for me but of course you can do whatever sleeve length that you want and again these two that were connected count as one cluster so we're just skipping over that completely and working into the next chain space Just keep doing that until you have as many rows as you want for your sleeve. Okay, I have just now finished both of the sleeves. So after you are done and have as many rows as you want for your sleeves, the last thing we are going to do is just make the neckline look just a bit nicer. And I like to do this with just working a round of single crochet around the neckline. So to do that, we're just going to insert our hook, chain one, and then work two single crochet in every chain two space that we skipped at the beginning and then where the cluster is we add one single crochet and then two single crochet and then one single crochet where that cluster is and you just work that all the way around until you meet back at the beginning so again, two single crochet in every chain two space and one single crochet where the double crochet cluster is. And now just slip stitch into the first stitch of the round and you're done. You don't have to do this single crochet around the neckline. I just found that I think it makes it look nicer and more complete, so I like to add it, but you don't have to do that. So all that's left is to weave in your ends and then your fairy granny shrug is done. That is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have your very own fairy granny shrug. And if you would liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to stay informed when I come out with new patterns and videos and whatnot. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!